Ladies and gentle bitches, we are back tackling another album that I missed this year. What's wrong with me, dude? I'm just so caught up in the pop music. The Taylor Swift bug really just bit me this year, but I want to finally dive a little bit more into some of these albums that I missed. So let's get into it today. Brand new Japanese house album titled In the End It Always Does. I like the long kind of title also really digging the cover art. Very simple, looking like an 83, maybe a nine, a nine, 92, 89% circle. You know, like the game where you try to draw the circle on the, you know what, I might as well just, okay. Damn, oh, too slow. 12 songs, 45 minutes and five seconds. The album is produced by the uh, songwriter and singer Amber Bain, as well as George Daniel from the 1975. Always a producer that I feel like I can enjoy. First song is Spot Dog. I feel like dogs named Spot are kind of a myth though. It's always like a fairy tale. It's always like a, like a movie. It's just, it's a, a film kind of thing. Dogs named Spot don't actually exist. Okay, let's get into it. Japanese house. Ooh. Oh. Yes, this is like a conversation. Hello? Oh, romantic? Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, lead me in. Oh, I'm really getting to know you. A little disconnected. with the reverb now traveling back through the memories. Oh my God. What did I say about production? What did I say? What did I say? Come on. Oh, the acoustic, the reverses, the blinkies. Okay, that high-pitched vocal, hello. How do you make this shit, bro? Oh. Oh. Oh, they're taking it. I think they might be taking it. Oh, dude, I love the way that, like, vocals get disguised in that high-pitched formatted filter. going anywhere too late <laughs> dude that progressing guitar line is so oh I love how it just kind of like backs up the, the entire track So gentle, so sweet, such a beautiful introductory track, dude. I'm I'm in. Dude, I'm locked in right now. I can already tell. It's gearing up to be a, a of an album. Let's get into the next one. I actually know this one. I actually added this to my Greenhearts Club playlist for this year, my year's favorite songs. It's called Touching Yourself. So continuing on to this, I guess, slightly sexual. I wasn't expecting the sexual so soon, but all right. Love, oh my God, the little wiggly. Also loving how she starts off with the high falsetto and then she drops into it. It's just so soft and gentle. I just really, really love it. Chill energy, just palm muted. such a contrast. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to stop. The way that like the palm muting and the plucking is so kind of like full of tenseness with the way that it's being played, kind of reflecting how she's like saying, I had to go into the other room because I was having these visions, you know? And then when she says touching herself, you get the long notes, the to contrast the plucky melody already. Oh, it's good. It's just good. That's just fantastic. Something and I had to go and 
Just suck in such an addictive groove. Oh, the transition. Oh, and the guitar. Listen. Oh. <laughs> it makes me want to die. That's how addicted you are, how in love you are. Oh. I love the drums with that double little hi-hat moment, too. You guys gotta give me permission, dude. I got, I'm here. I'm, this is my song. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and the way that it stops, too, just on a dime. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. It just fits all of the, like, feelings of, like, kind of just being so horny. Okay, um, next is sad to breathe. To breathe? Damn. I wonder why. Oh. Oh, it's the Disney piano. If you're going away, oh, the vocal. Why'd you say something oh. that made me believe Ooh. that you just might stay? Oh, the, the, right. the tinkling. The tinkling. Cause it's sad to breathe the air when you're not there. Oh, when you're not there. I love this back and forth piano. Oh, the guitar. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, I cannot stop dancing. Ooh. A little bridge? Change in vocal melody, going down a little bit. Oh, do I chase the train you're riding on? We're chasing trains, we're running! Ooh, I hear the low vocal harmony. Is that a male? Is that a male? Is that a man? Dude, that's three for three, bro. Good lord, that is so good. I do kind of feel a little bit of the similarities between actually Muna a little bit with the vocal kind of flipping back and forth. They're also kind of a big fan of that, and I am too, dude. Okay, over there. Over where? Yonder. Yonder there. Where's my inhaler? To breathe? I wonder why. Let's go over there. Ooh. Dude, so soft and like gentle as well. And all the leading melodies like built into the chords. Ugh. She doesn't stay around anymore. She used to dote on me. Now she's what does doting mean? She used to dote on me. Now she's loving someone differently. Oh, okay. LGBTQ. I see my radar going off a little bit. What is dote? I need to know. To be extremely and uncritically fond of. Huh? To love dearly. Okay, okay, that's kind of what I imagined. She used to dote on me. Dote on me. Where'd you wanna go? Did you wanna get some Where? Away from her, like over there. Oh 
my god. Are you so Oh, it's too good. Oh man. Keeps the shoes on. It's not a lot to lose when you've lost someone. And she's already gone. Dude, it's so sad with the way that the chords kind of resolve. Like they resolve almost back to the same exact place they begin in the verse. I just feel like that's such a beautiful way to write a chord progression with a verse that kind of sounds like how you feel like you've lost someone and you can't move on. You just feel like you're stuck in the same place because the chords are literally going back to the same place. Oh my God, genius. And it feels like such a long distance over there because of the reverb. Oh! Oh my god, big ol' synth pads. Come on, baby! I love me a big pad! She doesn't stay around anymore. Even more empty. She stops by. Sometimes. Dude, her vocals feel like air. Dude, oh my God, man. I mean, are we even still like the same person that we were when we started the song? It's so beautiful and so heartbreaking and so sad. It just feels like a gigantic rain cloud that I'm floating in, but yet it's still like beautiful with that silver lining on the end of it because it's only track four. We've got so much more to get into. Let's get into the next one. Morning Pages with Muna. Wait, with Muna. Oh my God. I missed a Muna collaboration this year. Bruh, I need a moment. What are you doing? Sometimes I cannot believe myself, dude. The gays are coming. Together! In more ways than one. Let me open up the Sunday print. Oh, these slow pulsing. Always comes back to Always come back to our house, our Japanese house. Ooh. Whoa! Dude, I'm loving the instrumental breaks. That's Katie! Oh, the violin's now doing the sweeping. love how they build layers. Having the layers coming in with all the small percussive elements and then just like sweeping it all out. <sighs> this so is a headphones album. A Go get them. I'll wait. No, I won't. But you, you should get them. <laughs> Running for the train. Wait, is she the person? She... Oh, dude, it ties into the other song. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. <gasps> Sooner or later you'll find yourself right where you wait for a second and always comes back to earth. You always come back to earth. Dude, the vocal production kind of creating these backwards sweeping blankets of sound. Oh, it's just always such like a classic signature of George. And I just love how he fits into it, man. I love how Katie fits her verse into this too, kind of tying back into the running for the train. She inserts herself into that little narrative. It's another dinger for me. I mean, this is beautiful, but all right, let's get into boyhood. little pulsating. I could have been someone else. Oh, that acoustic. Come on. I'll jump. Are we jumping? If I grow up, I guess I'm old. Like 
Damn. True. Ooh. And holding out that suspended note. Do Wow. We're chasing who we think we might be. This is boyhood. This is growing up. Oh, I've had that thought. I talk to myself right now. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this guitar is insane. In both ears? I want to go to a concert. But when did this album happen? I missed out on all these vibes. June? Oh my god, that's half the fucking year. I was shooing the whole half of the year. Damn. There hasn't been a song that hasn't hit yet. This is definitely going to be in the 90s in my album of the year. Oh my god. Sorry, Shikamaru. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Next track. Indexical reminder of a more... I'm not reading all that. Oh, some Foley? But just on the left? Enter stage left? Some reverse violin? Yo! Dude, oh my god, this is literally like a fucking musical hug! <laughs> I bring myself around Dude. I leave my things around. It can leave them anywhere. I don't even care. On the floor. <laughs> Look at this clip. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. Yeah, that was good. It's kind of an old meme, though. She's growing in the garden. She's sprouting I up. Read three pages, but I didn't read them. <laughs> That is the most me line ever. That should have been in boyhood because that has every boy's hood. I read three pages, but I didn't read them. That's a bar. I'll twist my head around. Ow. I'll turn myself around. I mean, you could just, yeah, you could do that. Talk to a friend I found. She throws me around around. Look at this clip I of an instrumental moment? Let's go. Dude, this is so impressive. The production feels so small, but so large. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my God, the little backwards riffing. It's always just so impressive to me when a producer doesn't really even feel like they have to try to have like a distinct, unique style. Like, yeah, people will say, oh, well, this is just 1975 music for, you know, depressed people. But it's also like a stylistic approach. And I just feel like they do such a wonderful job kind of like molding these different ideas into their own versions of the idea. And I always found it kind of astounding that songs and aesthetics like this in music are kind of like reverb central to me. And I've always felt like if I I ever overdo reverb. It just sounds so muddy. So the fact that all of this is just like so crystal clear, it's just so impressive. It's like, how did you get it not to sound like a bunch of dog shit? Anyways, the next song is Friends. <laughs> Rest in peace. Matthew Barrett couldn't enjoy this song while he was alive. Fuck! 
shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, no. Oh no, it's a hit. Oh no, it's a hit. Okay. Okay, going into a Okay. Is it a hit? Wait a minute. When they fucked in front of you, what is this? Oh. Oh, you dirty bitch. Ooh, kind of like a, a reggae islandy kind of beat too. It's different. That main melody taken over. Let's go. Where? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the chipmunk vocal on the side? Oh my. Right here! Thank you very much. I need that. Need that for the oh, the instruments! With the bass! Oh, that bass line! Oh my god, that's pop! Oh, yes. Oh my god, I gotta learn these guitar riffs, dude. Ah, oh. damn, that's good, dude. Didn't go the direction that I thought it was gonna go into, but I'm not mad at it. I've truly never heard Japanese house like this. Usually they're more like artistic, you know, kind of like subdued, lyrically, you might not really know what they're talking about. Now it's like, yeah, yes. yeah, we're here, dude. This is pop music, baby. I want more of this, which is why we're going on into the next song, Sunshine Baby. I wanna be a part of it. I wanna sing along. Me? Sitting down. Oh, that chorus. Oh, the falsetto soft glide down. Oh, oh my God, it's another hit. Oh. This is the realization. She really is moving on. Oh. oh, that's such a beautiful... I'm sorry. I love those chords right there. In the end, it always does. And then she goes and continues to kind of go down. She goes down to the resolve. Oh my God, that's so beautiful, dude. Overlapping vocals. I hear you. Oh. Ooh. Yup. 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 I'm so glad they saved the sax move. Oh, is there a banjo in there? So many strings. Oh, dude, there's so many little parts of this song that I wanna like chop out, put on a little platter, and just loop it while I like have my day going. It's too good, it's too beautiful. This is a gorgeous album. And it's all about kind of like reflecting and not like wanting to fight and hoping that somebody saves you, but like at the same time, you do wanna be a part and feel like you're in love again. This is finally like the realization of wanting to be swept away. Oh, it's so romantic, dude. Ah, oh, beautiful. Next track is Baby Goes Again. She's all that I live on Cause I, I don't feel too well Oh no You should take it like an alcohol, sir Ooh Ooh Okay That bass is cooking now
Okay, a little lost on this one. Such a baby. She's trying to communicate with me in like a alien language. Oh, the dueling guitars. Oh, dude, stop it. Oh, that's great. Okay, fantastic instruments again on this one. Just a little lost on the lyrics. Maybe Genius knows. Genius? I think about feeling like you're always on the cusp of fixing everything. Then I'd often feel like you just go and fuck every, everything up. Whew. Yeah. Just when you're starting to feel again, someone's done something stupid. There's the lyric, I keep circling, you can't stop a circle, but I keep coming back around. Oh, and that's the, the, the cover art. Keep coming back around with the circle, with the, 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 oh, the circle, dude, the circle. I'm aware that I keep repeating myself and making the same mistakes, but at least I keep coming back around. Oh. That's beautiful. The next song is You Always Get What You Want. Oh. I, remember oh. The time. I need that shit again. Oh. get what she wants oh because they've moved on and she's stuck wanting to go back ah dude it is kind of giving ringtone energy oh but like then that new shit though harmonies on that second chorus okay this is sweet this is sweet this is nice ending the album on these kind of oh, oh I'm sorry no That's fantastic, dude. That's so much fun. The way that they've kind of been able to like maintain the kind of dynamic transition between the super excitable, high energy version of the aesthetic into this kind of calming, nice end. <sighs> I just love albums like this, man. Let's get into the last song. One for Sorrow, two for Joni Jones. Twinklies. Is that a dog? I know a dog when I hear one. Stop it. There's a magpie in my tree Shouting like he's trying to warn me I don't know what he's talking about now, What is he yapping about, bro? It feels something like I'm missing you But also like I'm missing me Strings coming in when she starts to mention missing you. The feelings, the flutters. No one's ever gonna love me like this dog lying in my life. No one's ever made me feel so stable. No one has been able. The gospel chords for the dog. Sometimes I think without you, life would lose its bones. Really, day to day, I'll still just be walking in the park with one little Johnny John. Train off on 
So this is a game to you. Oh my god. The closing of the piano case with Rudy Mancuso going crazy on the piano. Oh my god. I hate being right sometimes, dude. Judy Jones! Is that a dog? I know a dog when I hear one. Talk about an absolutely just heart-wrenching song to end it with. Having your dog ground you when relationships really can't. I mean, god, that's just... <sighs> Well, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, you might as well like and subscribe. And if you want to see this entire stream uncut, tears flowing and all, it'll be up on Patreon alongside my review for this album on albumoftheyear.org. You can go ahead and follow me over there as well. I'd deeply appreciate that. Dude, look at this. This is what a In the 90s album looks like for me. I'm gonna go, but as always, stay happy, healthy, and strong, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.